everybody, it's Gina here from Gina Makes It. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another journal with me. In today's video, I am working in my new March journal and I am celebrating the first day of spring. It is March 20th, the first day of spring on my part of the world, and I couldn't be more excited. I decided to commemorate this day with its own little journal spread, and I created this little swatch of fabric with some buttons and some slow stitching on it a couple of weeks ago I just was sitting at my craft table and I decided to pull out all of my vintage materials my fabrics and laces and I thought that I would just kind of get it down onto a piece of scrap muslin and see where it led me and I really like the way that it looked and I decided to add it to this page this piece of music with this vintage lace on top I just thought that it looked perfect right there if you want to see me make this and make another one leave a comment below i did record it i'm not including it in this video because this is more of a journal with me but if you are interested in seeing the process of how i created that little piece of material with the slow stitching just like i said leave a comment down below and i will somehow incorporate that into an upcoming video or maybe make it its own video or something like that so after a little bit of fussing around, I decided just to glue it straight down on top of this page. My first idea was to create a pocket with it, but because it was so big, whatever I was going to put inside of it was probably going to get lost. So I thought just to showcase itself on the page, I'm going to stamp the message spring onto a piece of coffee dyed paper and I'm gonna add it to the bottom of it. So I know when I'm flipping through this journal that these pages are all about the first day of spring. Now that that is complete, I am moving on to the next page. And in the beginning of this video, I had pulled out a picture of a woman and a child inside of a rose garden. And that is from my mother and child kit in my Etsy store. And I really wanted to use that because it just really screamed spring to me. But I thought I was going to use it on this page, but I decided to flip it to the next page because I really like the way the colors look together from that floral wallpaper from the Graphics Fairy and then that picture of that woman and her child. I decided to do some journaling on this page about the first day of spring and also about my spring brambly hedge plate. A few months ago, I'd say closer to about a year ago, my mom and I were at an estate sale and I came across this beautiful set of four dessert plates, I would say that's the size of them, for Brambly Hedge, signifying the season, so summer, winter, autumn, and spring. And each season I pull it out and I put it on my little dish display in my kitchen. Brambly Hedge is a series of children's books about a family of mice that live in the English countryside and the illustrations are just so beautiful and the stories are just so beautiful and I just love it to pieces. It is just a very special tradition that I've created as each season turns. What I'm doing here is I made a little bit of a mistake and so normally I would have used the picture as a template like I just did and marked where it was going to lay on the page and then do my journaling around that but I was so excited to do my journaling that I just started journaling without really thinking much about where that picture was going to go or how I was going to journal around it so I had to do a little bit of erasing and then I continued to journal and I am going to 
adhere this picture to the page using some uh, coffee dyed masking tape. I didn't want to glue it down because I did cover the back side with some floral wallpaper, vintage wallpaper from the Graphic Fairies members only site and I wanted to have the ability to flip it up and see how beautiful that was on the other side. looking at that picture I decided to add a little bit of vintage lace underneath just to add a little bit of texture and detail and I felt like it was complete after I did that. So I'd already put that staple in this picture and I just love the way it looks on top of this floral piece of vintage wallpaper. I just can't get over how much I love it. But I did feel like I needed a little bit more texture to this page rather than just kind of putting it in the middle. So I have this very old piece of tatting that I thought would look beautiful and it kind of reminded me of like ground um, so they're walking inside of a garden and I felt like by lining the bottom of this picture it sort of represented I don't want to say dirt because it's not necessarily dirt but some sort of like a garden ground I really felt that imagery coming through and I really am glad that I came back and add that to the bottom so I, I had put some pictures in the beginning of this video inside of this little envelope and this envelope is also from the Graphic Fairies members only site and it's supposed to be a sachet where you put probably some sort of a potpourri in it to keep things nice and fresh smelling but I'm using it to hold some pictures from the last few weeks and I added some paper to the back of them and I did a little journaling on them off camera and I decided to cover up that little part that said sachet with a piece of avocado dyed paper doily and I'm just kind of roughing up the edges and adding a little bit of ink to the edges to give it a worn in look. That is going to wrap up this first day of spring journaling session. As I mentioned before, if you'd like to see me create that fabric panel, just leave a comment down below and I will figure out a way to incorporate that video into another video or on its own. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.